Time for an, another Black Lotus. Pack one, pick one, Black Lotus. That is back-to-back -back Lotuses. What the hell is happening? We're going to take it. Because it's the best card in all of Magic. And I don't know what Dark Magic Bone Daddy wove into the ether to grant me this kind of demonic luck for his pleasure, but... Um, I kind of want to take Mind's Desire and Force Storm. Does anybody else want to do that? <laughs> Clearly not, as Black Blade is more powerful. Um, well, I mean, in the event of Oko, Black Lotus is still an elk. So, um, yeah, let's, let's Storm. <laughs> We'll try and force storm. Ooh, dark Chrome Mox. Hmm, Chrome Mox or dark? Well, Chrome Mox is way higher likely to be picked. We'll take Chrome Mox. Um, probably Lotus Bloom. Just go double Lotus Power. Let's do it. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Tendrils, or Dark Petition. Well, Tendrils legitimately wins the game, so we're going to take Tendrils. Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. We're Storm. This is the beginning of the, like, potentially the most busted Storm deck I've ever seen. Because, like, all of these cards are disgusting levels of power. Okay. Bayou is fixing that we will play because um, potentially if we, if we get like a heartbeat of spring and a time spiral, we would want green. Um, and we're definitely playing black and blue, but this comes in untapped and is fetchable, so we're going to take it over to Lumbering Falls. All right. Um, it's a little bit harder pick here. Spellseeker might be the pick. Young Pyromancer might be an alternative win condition, just casting a bunch of spells. Pilgrim, I don't know if we need white mana, but like fixing is always nice. Also ramp. The more mana the storm deck has, the better things go. I think I'm going to take Spellseeker, but I don't know that that's right. Hopefully Manamorphose and Dark Ritual Wheel. Um, Brazen Borrower, Land Tax, Sacred Fountain, also Black Cleave. Probably Brazen Borrower as a way to deal with problem permanence slash a different way to win, I think is our best bet. We could also take Search for Tomorrow, as like Suspend Ramp is pretty good. What kind of cards are coming around? We're taking Regrowth, because we have Black Lotus in this deck. Ooh, Metamorphos! Um, Bloodbird Elf. We can't control what we draw. Knight's Whisper is really good. So we'll take Knight's Whisper. <laughs> Exerting maximum bone to make this work, Kano. I greatly appreciate it. You got it. Um, Maze of Ith is a land that doesn't produce mana. We're not taxing our opponent's mana, so I think we're going to take Bone Shredder. I think this might be a card that we potentially play just as a removal spell. <gasps> Dark Petition! Oh my god! <laughs> oh yes! Delicious! Night of Autumn! Mm -hmm. Thousand Year Storm! Underground Sea! Thought Seas! Oh, <laughs> we're taking Thousand Year Storm! Uh, there's some potential that Thousand Year Storm wheel. No! Coco, there's some potential <laughs> thousand year storm wheel. That, I'm sorry, Joas, that's really harsh. <laughs> Just really excited for storm. There's some potential this wheels, and like we should probably pick underground sea or thought seas. But like, I'm taking thousand year storm. <sighs> Empty the Warrens is 
a win condition, but it's awful. Duress is really strong in this deck. We're going to take Duress. <sighs> Joest, I'm going to have to play some Wits just for you to make up for that outburst. I am sorry. I wasn't, I wasn't trying to say screw your opinion. I just, I don't want to play Oko. Oh, okay. Taiga, Ancient Tomb. Ancient Tomb is very powerful, especially with a Time Spiral, if we can get one. Gifts Ungiven, this is kind of a tough pack for me. So we got, we have a Regrowth. Why don't we put in four Oko in Battle of Wits? Um, whenever I have enough money to buy four Okos. I'm going to take Ancient Tomb. No, I'm going to take Gifts Ungiven. Memory Jar, Cabal Ritual. Oh, God. So Memory Jar is a draw seven. Cabal Ritual is a really strong ritual. And we have Dark Pedition and Tendrils, so it's probably Cabal Ritual. Okay, it's definitely Cabal Ritual. We may not even really need draw sevens if we just have enough raw power. Baral, as a cost reducer, seems really spicy. Banefire can be its own win condition with Thousand Year Storm. So I think I, I think the pick here is Baral, though. Having a cost reducer. Mana Flare, Demonic Tutor, Dark Slick Shores. We do not have a lot of fixing, but Demonic Tutor, I think, might be too good to pass up. We're not that deep into red, so we might not need Mana Flare. We also don't have any of the, like, land untapped. Like, we don't have a Frantic Search or anything like that. We're going to take Demonic Tutor. All right, let's see. Collective Brutality might be reasonable. Desperate Ritual is just a ritual. We're going to take Desperate Ritual, I think. Okay. Um, Godless Shrine, we don't have any white. Inspiring Vantage is also not really useful at all. Firebolt is a win condition with Thousand Year Storm, plus removal, and it has flashback by itself. Talarian Academy, we don't have enough broken uh, artifacts that are going to stay on the board. Most of ours require sacking, so we're not going to take Talarian Academy. Tempting. Search for Iskanta, there's also some amount of consideration too, but I think we just take Firebolt as a way to win with Thousand Year Storm. Okay, how does Thought Seize wheel? Like, Thought Seize is a really good card. I'm going to take Thought Seize here. Um, we could take Bazaar of Baghdad just as a way to fill the grave, but we don't have... We don't have Yogwill or Past in Flames. Hopefully those are in the next pack. I don't think we're ever playing any of the other cards in this pack, though, so I'm going to take that um taiga is good fixing we'll take taiga uh i don't know that we're really playing any of these cards either we could take like crisis but we're not we're not doing any of this okay hissing quagmire is decent fixing for us i don't know why i'm saying that our only green spell is regrowth mana flare okay we'll take a mana flare I mean, and also technically, these two will cast Manamorphose, so I guess it is technically fixing. Hmm. It's too bad we don't have Dark Ritual. I think that's the only card out of the first pack that, like, we missed as a pick. Okay, so... Wooded Foothills fetches Bayou and Taiga, so it can be red or black mana. Lava Claw Reaches is red or black mana, but is tapped. I think we take the Foothills, because we really need fixing. Okay, Arid Mesa also fetches Taiga, I guess, at the moment. Potentially, it makes our deck a lot better. Uh, Wandering Fumarole is much more on color, but is not a fetch land. Um, we could also take Venser or Top, but I think I want Wandering Fool. Okay, Lightning Bolt is another way to win the game very easily with Thousand Year Storm. Miscalculation is a decent interactive spell that can cycle at the absolute worst. I think we're going to take Lightning Bolt. We're really praying for like a Time Spiral or a good draw seven that isn't Memory Jar. Because <laughs> we passed Memory Jar and didn't get it. Okay, LED, we do have a Demonic Tutor, and that can just get whatever we need. 
Badlands is also amazing fixing here. It makes wooded foothills a lot better. LED might wheel, but Badlands definitely won't, and we need fixing. We don't have high tide, and we're not island-based, so Palancron is going to be probably pretty bad. We're going to take Badlands. Um, we don't have any cards we want to put in the grave, so Entomb is pretty bad. Lotus Cobra might actually be reasonable. Mastermind's Acquisition is a little bit expensive for what it does, and we have two mountains for Koth, which is really not enough. So I think the pick is either Blooming Marsh or Lotus Cobra, and I'm going to take Blooming Marsh simply because it does fix slightly. Okay. Um, Turnabout is just a free Storm Count. It potentially gets a lot better with Mana Flare on the board. Uh uh, we're going to take Turnabout, but I don't know if we're playing it or not. There's a High Tide, so I might be corrected here. We might be base islands. Um, we don't have any island duels, though, which makes High Tide way worse. Maybe we take Electromancer instead. That's really weird to be in Storm and to not take High Tide. This late, I don't think anybody will take High Tide. So we're going to take Electromancer. Yog will. That's what we were looking for. We needed this or Past in Flames. Lava Claw Reaches came all the way around, so it's two colors we need. We're going to play it. Arid Mesa can fetch Badlands now or Taiga, so it's much better. We're going to take Arid Mesa. Uh, Mirari's Wake. We might be able to stretch the mana base into white. We do have an Arid Mesa, and we do have a Shambling Vent. And this is a... Decent. Okay, Pack Rat's in a di uh, different way to win the game. Dreadhorde Arcanist can cast four spells, but none of them are super important. We'll take a Mastermind's Acquisition. I don't think we're playing it. Um, I don't know that we're playing either of these, but this one we can actually cast. Stream sniping my draft? Oh no! <laughs> Are you actually in here? Languish out of the side. Um, this is probably the most busted storm deck I have ever seen in my life. You took all the mono white cards? Well thanks for not taking any of the storm cards, because good lord. Okay. Deck building time. <laughs> um, so we have 26 cards. Chromox is kind of a land. It's like one half of a land. So we need to cut one card. Oh, wait, what, what's Pack Rat doing in the main? I don't know if we're playing Pack Rat in the main. Do we have a problem at all here? I'm going to cut one. I think we need to cut one more card to have a decent number of lands. And I think we cut Firebolt. Out of all of the cards we have, I think we cut Firebolt. Oop. Combine groups, please. Oh, that was including these two. Sweet. Okay. Now... Arid Mesa over a mountain. Badlands over a mountain. Lava Claw Reaches over a swamp. Taiga over a for forest. Yes. Blooming Marsh over a swamp. Hissing Quagmire over a forest. Wooded Foothills over. I actually think over a swamp. Wandering Fumarol over an island. Chromox over an island. Shambling Vent over a swamp. And Bayou. Can't forget the Bayou. We're going to play Bayou over an island, too. Does that give us enough blue sources? Probably not. It's one, two, three, four blue sources. No way to fetch. Okay. All right. Um, we're going to cut, we cut something for an island. Actually, maybe we just run an additional island. That's probably reasonable. 
waiting for me to queue up, gonna try and snipe me. Oh man, don't do that. That's not cool. Um, we could cut white out of the mana base and cut Mirari's wake. We don't. <laughs> we don't have. Um, we don't have any land on tap, so we have turnabout. But I'm not gonna be turnabouting. I don't think. So we're gonna cut Mirari's wake. Hang on, gotta redo the mana base real fast. Okay, add basic lands. No white lands required this time around. Arid Mesa, over a mountain. Bad lands, over a swamp. Bayou, over a forest. Blooming Marsh, also over a forest. Hissing Quagmire, over a swamp. Lava Claw Reaches, over a mountain. Uh, Taiga, I guess over a forest. Wooded Foothills, we can go over our last mountain. It's a little sketch, but you know, cut an island for Wandering Fumarol. And I think that works. I think this does it. Yeah, all right. Let's storm some people out, shall we? All right. No blue mana, but we don't necessarily need it. This seems like a pretty good hand. We're gonna keep. Opponent starts Mountain. We draw a regrowth. So we're gonna start Arid Mesa. Pass the turn. Fetch with Arid Mesa. Let's get a Taiga. Untap. We draw Bayou. So we'll play a Swamp. Do we Demonic Tutor for an Island? We might. I think we do. We're gonna Demonic Tutor for an Island. Pass the turn. Three Mountains for our opponent. Worn Power Stone. Sure. So we're gonna play an Island. Play an Electromancer and Knight's Whisper. We get a Chrome Mox. Okay, pass the turn. What to play is a Koth. Looks like they're playing Big Red of some kind. Burst Lightning the Electromancer. Okay, that makes our next play a lot worse. I was hoping to regrow Demonic Tutor. I mean, we can still do that. So let's see, what do we need to do? It is quite likely that our opponent has another burn spell. So we could regrow Electromancer and play it, but like, I don't think that's going to do much. Play a Bayou, pick up Demonic Tutor. Demonic Tutor for Black Lotus. Pass the turn. And next turn, we're just going to Mind's Desire for a number of cards. So opponent plays a Hazard, untaps a Mountain shoots us and attacks for nine takes us to two so we have to do whatever we're going to do this turn all right we draw a mana flare so we black lotus triple red play mana flare play badlands tap taiga for green mana morphos into black blue float to red bolt our opponent this is a May Exile. We're going to cast this just for a storm count. No. Mind's Desire for five. So Thought Seize kills us. Yogmoth's Will does not. Swamp, Brazen Borrower, Tendrils, and Wooded. So Brazen Bar. we're going to Petty Theft, Koth. We're going to Tendrils, our opponent, and this kills them. Thought season, get a little more information, take Siege Gang, Yog Will, Lotus, Crack Lotus for Black, Tendrils again. Got him! <laughs> hey! Now we just need to repeat that every game, right? That was very satisfying. Alright. Yeah, I don't think we have any uh, adjustments. We're just going to run the list back like this. Oh, jeez. I like it. I was really worried with that hand um, that we actually weren't going to storm off, but we got really lucky with the Mind's Desire hits. We had a lot of good spells that we could have hit there. Because, like, the only problem is we had cast Regrowth, so if we'd hit, like, Gifts Ungiven, it would have been an issue. But, um, you know, I'm going to keep this. When it starts Mountain. Goblin Guide. You got it. 
Tendrils of Agony on top. I mean, sounds good. Start Lava Claw reaches past the turn. Opponent gonna play a mountain, get in with Goblin Guide. We reveal Baral. I mean, sure, we'll play Baral. Kind of expecting him to die. Yep, he dies. Okay, that's fair. That's a burn spell that's not going to our face. So, like, Manamorphose is a really good draw. I'm trying to think of what else is. We have a number of good draws. Okay, we draw an Arid Mesa for free. That's good. And our opponent plays a Seasoned Pyromancer. Let's see what they discard. They only have three cards left in hand. Mountain and Koth. Okay. We draw a Knight's Whisper. So, let's Knight's Whisper this turn. We draw Thoughtseize. Play Arid Mesa. Tutor up a Badlands. And we will Thoughtseize our opponent this turn. Hazaret and Avalanche Risk. We'll take Hazaret. Pass the turn, and we'll just try and storm off next turn. But it plays a mountain. Avalanche Riders. Probably nukes the island, honestly. I, I mean, I can't imagine what else. That is a little bit of a setback, but not amazingly so. I don't... Yep, okay, they hit the island. They get in for seven Lotus Bloom on top. Well, that kind of sucks that we don't have the ability to Mind's Desire out of Lotus Bloom. So let's Chrome Mox, Exiling Gifts, Black Lotus. This is going to be kind of a, a light storm. We could Tendrils to stay alive this turn, actually. Because our opponent's going to hit us for 7 next turn if they pay the Echo Cost. And we could Tendrils right now ourselves up to 8, but then we lose our whole storm count. I, I think we just have to Mind's Desire. Like, it's not great. Mind's Desire, Taiga, Anamorphose, and Swamp. So we cast Manamorphose, and we add blue and black. We get a Spell Seeker. Doesn't do anything. Oh, shoot. We're not going to be able to Tendrils. Okay. All right. We died. Well, game three. I still think no changes. Anything we do is just going to slow us down a lot. We do, yeah. Ex that there were there was things we could hit. We just had kind of a low storm count and didn't hit the right cards. Well, we had played Chrome Mox already. It was on board. Uh, we'll play first. This is really tempting, but I don't think we can keep a no lander. Yeah, very tempting, but I don't think we can keep a no. -lander. This is way better. We're going to keep this, and we are going to put Blooming Marsh on the... We will start with a Thoughtseize. Our opponent has just an Incinerate and six Mountain, or five Mountains. So suspend Lotus Bloom. Pass the turn. It's pretty good for us. Play an Island. Pass the turn. Opponent plays a Mountain. We'll play an Island. Cast Lotus Bloom. We draw a Lightning Bolt. Play a Swamp. Pass the turn. No! <laughs> Ancient Grudge! Uh, unfortunate. And we didn't play the Taiga, so we can't bolt the Hellrider. So we take four here. Alright, well we know they're still holding an Incinerate, so let's Duress. Incinerate and Char. Well, Char does more damage. Play Taiga. Lightning Bolt Hellrider, try and buy some time. Seasoned Pyromancer. Discards two Mountains. Firebolts are face. Aggressive. We draw a Demonic Tutor. What is our best tutor target here? I think it's Mind's Desire. I get. Well, we are casting it this turn, so let's cast it and take a look. So we can take Dark Petition. We could also take Yogmoth's Will or Thousand Year Storm. Hmm. So if we take dark petition and we play mana flare this turn and don't die then we dark petition oh we can regrow with demonic tutor and then do stuff that might be the best play hopefully we draw something good but i actually think that's pretty good so we take regrowth and we cast mana flare this turn hopefully our opponent can't just like bane fire us to death they have three cards in hand and eight this is pretty scary they have 10 mana. They also have Incinerate and one mystery card. I forgot about the Incinerate. 
So your opponent gets in for two, takes us to ten. Oh, because they can fire bolt this turn, that's true. Fiery Confluence. Well, that means we have to win next turn, because if they ins if they firebolt out of grave, that takes us to two, and then they have incinerated hand. So we at some point next turn have to cast a tendrils. Okay, we can't wooded foothills prior to tendrils or we die. So green mana, regrowth for demonic tutor. Demonic tutor for dark petition. Dark petition for tendrils. And then we stay alive. So we're going to gain eight life, which is very, very nice. Play wooded foothills past the turn. So our opponent almost just had us there. They have firebolt, incinerate, and attack this turn for seven. So they currently are representing seven damage. Embereth shield breaker. So next turn they're representing nine. Okay. So we need to crack Wooded Foothills this turn, but if we do and draw nothing, we die. Exactly. So we're going to go ahead and try and give ourselves the best possible odds of drawing a good... And the Swamp doesn't do it. Yeah. Well, damn. Brick and die. A Kano story. <laughs> oh, yep. I mean... That's kind of how the Kano do. So round two, we'd love to play first. Oh my god, yes, we'll keep this. Play a Swamp, suspend Lotus Bloom, pass the turn. Opponent plays a Forest, and an Absence Builder. Gotta be real careful about when we play this Mana Flare. Look, at least we drafted Lotus, Lotus twice. I kind of feel that way, honestly. Uh, we might actually Chrome Mox Mana Flare here. Just so we can bolt this dork. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Alright, opponent plays a Steve. We get a Blooming Marsh, that's good. Pass the turn. Next turn we have an ungodly amount of mana. Opponent has a Freebooter and we're holding Black Lotus. Ugh. Well, we're still casting a Lotus, right? And if we ever bolt, if we Yog will that bolt, we get that Lotus back. All right, Lotus Bloom coming off Suspend. We draw Tendrils. So we can Mana Morphos and Spell Seeker this turn. I think I'm going to do that. Hmm, that seems good. So we could Yogg Will, Bolt, Mana Morphos, Tendrils. And do like a little mini storm, but then we lose our win conditions, all of them. So I think we just Spell Seeker this turn for Demonic Tutor or Regrowth. Actually, I think we Spell Seeker for Regrowth. But if our opponent has more Hand Hate, we're just done. Take Regrowth. Pass the turn. I'm going to crack Soccer Tribe Elder. I'm going to go get an Island. They play an Elvish Mystic. Get in for one. That's fine. We untap. We draw a Swamp. We'll play a Swamp. Regrowth Lightning Bolt. Bolt Kite Sail Freebooter. Opponent has a Counterspell. Fantastic! Well, at least it was a Bolt that got countered and not Yogmoth's Will. Opponent plays a Plains. Seven mana available for our opponent. Yeah, we'll jump. Why not? We don't need Spellseeker for anything. Opponent Fractured Identities Chrome Mox. Not Lotus Bloom. Thankfully, we were auto-yielded, so we didn't give them a Black Lotus. <laughs> um, okay, so we could, if we Yawgmoth's Will now, we could Bolt... Actually, yeah, I think if we do this right, Yog Will, Lightning Bolt, Black Lotus. We only get to use Black Lotus once, though, which is really unfortunate. So we could Spell Seeker for Demonic Tutor. Hang on. We can Manamorphose. No, I think we just wait. I probably shouldn't have done what I did, actually. I got overzealous, because I was thinking we could Black Lotus and then play it out of the grave. Well, Will's already resolved. I think I'm fine passing here, because our opponent does only have one card in hand. That was bad. My bad. Opponent's got a Lotus Cobra. We draw. Night's Whisper. 
Excellent. Hissing Quagmire, Gift Sun Given. Pass the turn. Opponent preordains. One on the bottom, one on the top, and draws it. Maelstrom Pulse, Black Lotus, and I was auto-yielded, so I couldn't gifts in response. I am so sorry, everyone, for watching this. I can't believe you're seeing this with your own eyes. Um, so Regrowth and Yogg Will are out, so whatever we gifts for goes into the grave. All right, well, we're going to pass. Our opponent is not representing a very fast clock. Play a Taiga. Pass the turn. This time we're going to animate Hissing Quagmire. Because we've already exiled Mana Flare. Okay. Our opponent recognizes that is our line. We draw a Brawl. So we Brawl. Electromancer. Gifts. We're going to take... Let's see. Dress. Thoughtseize. Tutor. Let's take Tutor, Petition, Thoughtseize, and... I guess Desperate Ritual. Mm, yeah, Desperate Ritual. Thousand Year Storm, Fumarole, Tutor Ritual. That was probably better. Because I think if our opponent bins both tutors like they should... I should I should have been Cabal Ritual so I could Thought Seize and then Tendrils. No, I can still Thought Seize and Tendrils, but I can't Thought Seize Ritual and Tendrils. That's the problem. So we can go to storm count four, and then bin our opponent for ten. Now let's make sure the way is clear first. Okay, land and land. Kind of a weak tendrils. Oh, I am just throwing this game away. Edric, Spy Master of Trust. They draw by you, play by you, no attacks. Okay, they played their forest. They don't add mana. Alright. There's a card we can't cast ever. Opponent plays an elves. They draw a thousand year storm, which we also cannot play. Opponent plays a thief of sanity, which will very quickly kill us because we have 13 cards left in our deck. So we're gonna duress, find our opponent has nothing. And I think after Thief hits us, we're going to concede. Depending on what it exiles. Alright. We're just going to concede. Yeah, I threw that game so hard. I am so sorry. So we're going to bring in Firebolt. And I actually think we might want Turnabout. It might be a mistake that I'm not running it. We'll just put it that way. And it's probably better than Gifts. Because we don't have quite enough... You too, Joest. I'm sorry. We'll have to schedule some time after I update Battle of Wits, and I will play a Battle of Wits match just for you on stream. I hope you have a good night as well. Um, I think I'm actually going to drop Brazen Borrower. We'll try it like this. All right, we'll play first. Um, this hand's really slow. We're going to mulligan. This is mildly better. We have all of our colors, so we're going to start Wooded Foothills past the turn. We are going to get a Badlands, Firebolt the Dork, play Blooming Marsh, pass the turn. Opponent plays a Plains and a Steve. We draw Mind's Desire, play Bayou. Opponent preordains. One on the bottom, one on top. They were probably fishing for a land. We draw Arid Mesa. We'll play Arid Mesa so we can fetch up our Taiga. Okay. Opponent fetches with Soccer Tribe Elder, gets a Swamp, plays an Island. Counterspell available. Opponent Kite Sail Freebooter. That's not too backbreaking. We should just be able to Firebolt the Freebooter next turn, maybe? Both of us have had legendarily slow hands this time around. Knight of the Reliquary. Well, that gives us an interesting other Firebolt target. We draw Duress. I think we have to Firebolt the Knight. We need to make sure that our opponent doesn't have a real clock, if at all possible. And Duress is going to save us from a counterspell anyway. Okay, opponent gets in for one. Oh no. <laughs> that is very bad. Our opponent gets a Lotus Bloom off of that. And a Swamp Jesus. 
Cracking it for black. Gonna play Ashiok. Yeah, like I said, it was a good run. Opponent gets Spellseeker, Demonic Tutor, Swamp, and gets a look at the hand. Sees what we're up to. We're gonna play this out, but like, and maybe we should have duressed last turn, but we're gonna Mana Flare in the wrong order because we're good at this game. Okay, opponent only has an Absence Pilgrim. So if the top five cards of our deck between Shinobi and Ashiok are awful, and we draw, like, a Lightning Bolt, they take Baral and Chromox and a land, that's fine. Fallen Shinobi finds Thought Seize, which is bad, but not horrible. We're going to take Tendrils. We need, like, Knight's Whisper into really good cards. That is none of those things. Sad. How is it the best Storm deck I have ever drafted? Well, I actually know how it is. It's because I'm punting so hard. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm going to take a quick bio break. I'll be right back. And we'll finish this out. You're going to go do design for my streaming? Hmm... Bone Daddy, what do you think? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I will have to pay for it in the blood penance. Alright, we lost the die roll. Um, this, this is good hand. We'll keep. Opponent's going to start Library of Alexandria, and we are immediately going to take them off the library. That's good. That's actually fantastic. So our opponent has Wall of Blossoms, Oko. We're going to take Corsair, and then we're going to duress away this Oko. What plays Wall of Blossoms. Finale of Devastation and Beast Within. We will have to watch out for Beast Within, but we are taking Oko. The good news is they won't be librarying for a while. They drew Incubation Druid. To play an Arid Mesa. Pass the turn. Alright, 5 mana for a Finale of Devastation, I believe, is what's happening here. X3, okay. Oh, they get to search out of the grave. I forget that that card can do that. Fetch our Taiga, so we don't draw it. We get a Desperate Ritual. So we play Badlands. We could Desperate Ritual, go up to 5 mana. Manamorphose, stay at 5, draw a card. Spellseeker for Demonic Tutor. Demonic Tutor for Lotus. Ritual Tendrils. That's not enough to kill them, but it's close. It depends on what we hit off the Manamorphose. And there might be a better Spellseeker target. Probably not, actually. Um, we could just Manamorphose Spellseeker for Demonic Tutor. And then try and get a thousand year storm going. But I think we're just gonna wait. Our opponent has a beast within, but like if they hit one of our lands, it's not critical. We don't need green, we have Manamorphose. And we have redundant red sources. Like it would suck to be taken off mana, don't get me wrong. Avenger of Zendikar. Well, if they power up this incubation druid next turn, we really would like to draw an island. That's potentially an island. So Knight's Whisper. Or it's those. Okay, so we don't do anything this turn, and next turn we go off. So they're holding, like, Beast Within, Avenger of Zendikar. They cast Avenger. Make a bunch of 1-1s. One That's fine. We're glad they tapped it down so we know they're not going to it. Redraw. Electromancer. That's really good right there. So we play Lotus. Lotus for blue. Electromancer. Spellseeker. For Demonic Tutor? Yes, Demonic Tutor. We have five cards in gray. So we... Do we Anamorphose first or do we Ritual? I think... We, actually, I think we ritual first. 
Desperate Ritual. We're waiting for Threshold on Cabal. Metamorphose into Black. Okay, now we can Cabal Ritual. Demonic Tutor. For Yogmoth's Will. Chromox. No. Tendrils. Our opponent. Same targets all the way. Let those resolve. Yog will pay one, pay blue. Lotus ritual rich. We were gonna, we were gonna ten goals. All right, so we got a good storm turn that time. <laughs> Maybe we can, we can redeem ourselves this round by actually storming off to kill mono green, whatever this is. Well, we do have green mana for Manamorphose. We have a bunch of rituals, but no payoff. I think we have to mulligan this hand. This hand is way better. We will keep. We're going to put back a swamp. Pona starts forest. Fast bond. That's kind of scary. All right. That's it? You fast bonded for one land? All right. Let's, let's take a peek at what's happening. Mox Ruby Deranged Hermit. Well, this is going to teach you not to keep Moxum in hand versus a black. We draw a Demonic Tutor, which is really good. Uh, I think we just want cards in hand at the moment, though. Okay. Mana Flare. So we could Island, Lotus on Red, Mana Flare, and then Mind's Desire. That's only like a storm count of three, though, and I feel like we can do better. So let's Fumarole and Tutor this turn. I actually kind of want to take Thousand Year Storm. Otherwise, Manamorphose is probably a good pick. It might just be Manamorphose, because we're already holding Black Lotus. Morphose. Opponent Beast Within's our Swamp. Joke's on you, we don't need Black Mana. And they play Deranged Hermit, they only have one card in hand. Okay, I mean, Cabal Ritual's really good. So we Lotus. Track Lotus for red. Mana Flare. Use a red and a blue. Filter into black. We are going to Cabal Ritual without Threshold, which kind of sucks. But, like, we need the Storm Count pre-Mind's Desire. Okay, Mind's Desire. Four spells cast prior. We hit a Swamp. We hit Thousand Year Storm. Bayou. Oh my god, this hand got amazing. Thousand Year Storm. Dark Petition. <laughs> Okay, let's go get, uh... Oh, you're not gonna let me play this out? Jerk. That was gonna be sweet.